What's up everybody? Can't wait to show you my truck camper setup that I have. First off, I'm gonna go over why I did this. Uh, through the years, I've had campers. I've had like four different campers through the years. And recently I got online looking to see how much campers were. And I was looking at those little smaller teardrop style campers. And I was just basically outraged at the price of, the price of campers and the price of these things. Uh, they're overcharging us like crazy uh, for things like that. You get a little teardrop camper, you're gonna pay upwards of close to $20,000 for it, 15, $20,000 plus for them. And that's for uh, one of the least expensive ones. So anyway, I ordered a soft topper and put on this 2011 Ford Ranger that I have and set it up to camp. I've tent camped before, not a big fan of tent camping. Um, nothing wrong with it, it's just kind of not for me. I like it, things a little bit simpler, easier to set up. But this is my setup that I have. But one thing that's important to me, because I'm, uh, I like some level of comfort, was to have air conditioning. And this is the air conditioning system that I come up with to put in the truck here. But this is my whole setup. Got a fire pit, a lava box going there. Keep all my camping gear set up in this container. Um, if any of you can give me an idea on a container, leave it in the comments. I'm just using this one right now. I know this isn't the most sturdy one, but give me some ideas of what you think would be a good one because I'm concerned about the lid blowing off. I'll probably have to put some straps on that going down the road, but that's what I'm using for now. All right, let me show you how this thing works. What I done was just got a piece of plywood, got some two by twos, and just kind of put it together and build it, measured it off where it would fit in like a tailgate of the truck, slides down in there. And then I was trying to make some kind of a fastener that would hold it at the top. And I just kept it simple. So I ended up getting these straps right here and just using these straps and strapping it in. And as you can see, it's very sturdy. So this is the air conditioner. Um, portion now like the other night when i went camping it's still obviously it's still winter time it was cool so i didn't need the air conditioner so i built these other portions too and this is how easy you can get the air conditioner in and out and i put a little strap on it right there to make it easier to pick up get out but i built these other little boards that go in it as well right here this is a screen and all it is is some screen that i put duct tape on and then stapled it to that piece and it goes right in here i've got a slot for it where to go right in there fit in that slot and then lock over and then like a door latch lock in there so now you've got a screen let breeze in you don't take your air conditioner you don't want to use your air conditioner now when it gets cold it's raining something like that you can pop this screen out and i got a solid piece and it fits in the same one now, now it's a solid piece there goes the lava box stepping on that So that's the setup. Now inside, it's pretty simple. What I done with that is I just got a little cot down here. Now I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'5", and the bed on this truck with the tailgate up six foot. So also when I built this thing, I added an extension on, two by four extension, and a piece of plywood right there so it fits down in the groove. And then when I got this cot, I just cut the ends of the cot off right there a little bit so it'll close the tailgate. You're able to close the tailgate. Then I got this air mattress right here. It's a self-inflating. This thing's awesome. It's a Lost Horizon. Just ordered off of Amazon. Works like a champ. Super comfortable. And I just got an old sleeping bag. Up there in the front, I've got a bin from Harbor Freight and it just hooks over, if you see my hand hooking, it hooks over 
the lip of the bed liner and it holds there like a champ it hadn't come loose and of course i can put a little tote up there for a table or something and i got a clip i clip my ipad up there to watch movies and such i had if you look at my other video at the beginning of it the thumbnail you can see i had led lighting run around the perimeter of the bed well i wasn't thinking when i done that well condensation and water got on it and it gave me a little zap so i had to pull that out i've got some rope lighting on the way right now then i'm going to run some rope lighting some outdoor rope lighting so i don't uh electrocute myself in the back of the truck that wouldn't be good all right once again just kind of a distance walk over i'm trying not to trip over that box again and once again just how simple it is to put this air conditioner in it's a light air conditioner you just take it slide it right through just like so sits in there sits in there like a champ now like i say i'm six five i slipped in this truck the other night i just used the solid wood it was got down to about 32 degrees i had a little ceramic electric heater in there worked like a champ kept me warm i don't have any type of insulation on the soft top or anything but um it's thicker than a normal tin is was, was my train of thought with it so uh, it kept me warm no problem now, i hadn't tried the air conditioner i know on a hundred degree day you're probably not going to want to be laid up there in the baking sun on a hundred degree day but at night when you're out camping and you're sleeping i think it'll be pretty comfortable anyway if any of you have any questions want to know anything how i done it or measurements anything like that if you've got a similar truck leave a comment leave a comment for me and tell me what kind of container will be good for me to use back here and if you would consider subscribing to my channel thank you very much